again for coming into my shop. I had a question asked about my FMT jig on my last blog and I thought I would answer that this morning. The question had to do with the uh, alignment jig that I made for cutting uh, mortises on rails. To cut similar mortises on the uh, styles, what I did was make a hardboard jig to mount on my FMT. It's basically two pieces of hardboard, a long piece and a short piece, that are glued and clamped together. I basically have these pieces sitting around because when I make a project, I will frequently make um, a set of hardboard templates that I use as um, guides if I want to uh, recreate a project or make more than uh, one. I use the uh, hardboard templates to, uh, as setup blocks for my table saw, chop saw, and router. This is an example of one of those uh, hardboard uh, setup blocks, and this is the uh, setup jig for cutting and uh, making marks for the tapered uh, leg on my cherry uh, quilt chest. And basically I make all my notes on this board and then I just shoot a, a coat or two of uh, spray shellac which keeps the pencil from smearing and uh, adds a little uh, protection. This jig allows me a couple of things. By mounting it in my FMT, I'm able to consistently align my stock that I'm cutting that um, in this case was the mortise for the uh, styles on my cherry chest. I can slide this up against the um, end stock and that allows me to consistently uh, cut these pieces without having to make any more uh, measurements. I only have to do one setup on the FMT um, and then I can just mass produce these pieces. Let me show you how this mounts in my FMT jig. Okay, this is a uh, close-up of the underside of the uh, jig and again there is a alignment bar with a sight on the uh, upper surface of the jig which I'll show you in a minute but uh, I slide that out and I put the hardboard alignment guide in and lock it down with the end clamp in this case. If I'm, out, if I'm routing the um, mortises on the lower part of the chest, I just flip this whole arrangement around. I then take the stock that I'm going to cut the mortises on and line it up so that it is registered against the end block as well as the stop block and then I just secure that piece in place with the other clamp. I then slide the stop block out of the way and then I'm ready to cut the uh, mortises. This is the same operation from the top view of the jig. First I put the hardboard alignment template that I made in and lock it in place and then I take the rail that I'm going to be cutting the mortise. Again you can see um, this would be the test piece that I'm going to be using to set up the jig in this case but after I set it up the first time I don't need to make these marks or do anything else other than just cut mortises. So the stock goes in place and again I'm lining it up with um, the very end stop block on the uh, jig as well as in the upward direction with the bottom surface of the siding bar. I just hold that in place and lock down the stock. The next step I just loosen the stop lever on the jig and sight the crosshairs up for alignment, lock down the stop lever, pull the sight bar out of way, 
and I'm ready now to route this mortise. And after that, I can route as many as I want in the same position by using that stop. And I just slide it in place, align the top, lock it down, cut the mortise, and just keep repeating the operation. <laughs>